Mexico is corrupt enough so that a considerable amount of taxes are evaded, but rich enough to have developed a centralized digital record of all taxable transactions since 2014. In collaboration with the Mexican tax authorities, we explored how network science and artificial intelligence could help detect tax evasion. We received an anonymized dataset of more than 80 million contributors, individuals and companies, and almost 7 billion monthly aggregations of invoices among contributors between January 2015 and December 2018. With this, we were able to build temporal networks monthly with 48 layers and yearly with four layers, where nodes represent contributors and directed links, invoices made by A for B in a given time slice. We also received a list of almost 10,000 contributors that had already been identified as tax evaders. In particular, they're called EFOS, Empresas Facturadoras de Operaciones Simuladas, invoicing businesses of simulated operations. EFOS fabricate invoices for non-existing products or services so that the recipients can deduce, in other words, evade taxes. EFOS tends to be enterprise of recent creation, few employees, and high transaction volume. Several EFOS can be organized in networks to evade taxes for the same clients. Analyzing the network properties around EFOS, it became clear that their interaction patterns differ from those of the majority of contributors. For example, there's an overrepresentation of invoicing loops among EFOS and their clients. Observing how communities around EFOS evolve in time, new nodes can be considered suspicious by association. Nevertheless, the in-degree, out-degree, betweenness and closeness of EFOS is not distributed differently from the rest of the nodes. Still, EFOS tend to have shorter average distances to other nodes. We also used two methods for classifying suspicious contributors, deep neural networks and random forests. We trained each method with part, part of the EFOS list and tested with the rest, each method obtaining more than 0.9 accuracy. Each classifier was used with a complete dataset of contributors, each method classifying more than 100,000 suspects. More than 40,000 suspects were classified by both methods. We further reduced the number of suspects by focusing on those that were at close network distance from known EFOS. We were able to then produce a list of highly suspicious contributors sorted by the amount of tax evaded for the authorities to investigate. With our methods, we identified a previously undetected tax evasion estimated in the order of 10 billion US dollars per year by about 10,000 contributors. The methods presented do not replace humans. They automatize much of the work that currently is made manually to identify potential efforts. Still, they basically generalize patterns present in training data and as such are prone to error, so they should be used with caution. During the last year, Several companies have been updating their taxes linked to the recovery of billions of dollars by the Mexican government. Perhaps some of these were suggested by our work. Even when not all tax evasion is identified, reducing impunity can help curb illegal practices. A similar approach could be used to identify money laundering, contraband, corruption, fraud, financial risk, and more. The most difficult part is convincing institutions to share their data. If you would like to know more about this work, please check our preprint and the archive and feel free to contact us.